commanding the Titans to submit to my will. I never did that. Not like the way you ordered our Storm Titan to destroy my heart. That was completely different. I summoned the Storm Titan because it was the only way to... You would have... Oh, what have I done? We've both been selfish. But being near my heart again is making me feel... Well, it's making me feel... I remember now what's truly important to me, Raven. You... Spider? Is that you? Look what they've done to you. What have you become? I am what you both made me. The Barbet Storm. Reformed by the hatred and animosity that you and Father left behind. I am the Evil Titan! He's going to kill them. He's going to kill us all, and we're powerless to stop him. It's all over. If no, it's not. You three are the resolution. Mallory and Bat, you represent light and dark, order and chaos, polar opposite forces of nature. But there is a third harmonizing force, me. As such, my scion is the mortar that binds your opposing forces together. You, wizard, are the divine paradox. Bat, Malori, search within yourselves. Harness your essences. Now, channel that force. Let my scion be imbued with light and shadow. Oh, jeez. Okay. Give me a sec. Um... Yes, that's it. Now you, Scion, imbue yourself with the Paradox Essence, quickly!
use the Chaos Heart with your Paradox Essence. With the Healed Heart as the backbeat, we can sing the Song of Creation and reweave the threads of reality that have been torn. Go! Scion. Uh, what? What happened? Spider, oh, I'm so happy you're alive. I didn't know it until I thought I'd lost you. I'm so sorry for this. Please don't hate me. You ripped my heart out, locked me in a hole, then used my heart to create a world in which I was the personification of evil. I am beyond angry with you, Raven. But I could never hate you. I love you too much with every fiber of my chaotic heart. I'm sorry I hurt you, Spider. And I'm so, so very sorry for what I've done to our Titans. Do not forget the things you did correctly, sister. Despite your missteps, the other life you created never strayed from your original plan. None of this would have existed had you not acted exactly as you did. There is still time for your dream for the spiral to be realized. Thank you, brother. And thank you, Malari, for not abandoning me the way I abandoned you. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Yeah, sure. I'm just happy it all worked out, you know? I've learned a lot. Oh, I'm not good with this mushy stuff. Just skip me. I knew there was something special about you, Malari. That's why I entrusted my most capable son to watch over you. It's no declaration of infinite and undying love, but I'll take it. Your brothers were born of my nightmares, but you were my one and only dream, Pat. I knew you'd deliver me here, to this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well. Woo! It sure is dusty in here. <laughs> J just skip me too. Thanks to my Scion, existence has been returned to its rightful order, with the appropriate amount of chaos sprinkled throughout. Perhaps it's time the mortals steered their own destinies. Raven, all I've ever wanted was to be here in our forest. With you, let us stay. Absolutely, my love. We'll bind each other to this place to protect the spiral. With a little help from Bartleby to keep us honest, of course. My pleasure. What an ending to such a bitter chapter. Thank you all for never giving up on this world. Especially you, wizard. I love you all. Okay, folks, we better get going before all this sweetness gives us cavities. Let's get back to the Arcanum. I owe my mom a giant hug. I was actually a little scared for a while there, but my friends had my back. I'm sorry I worried you. I love you so much, Mom. 
Wizard, what news? You reconciled Raven and Spider? They've locked themselves in the primordial forest? Oh, my, my. I see why Bartleby chose you as his scion. That means you've secured the Chaos Heart as well. Great work, understudy. I'd say that's deserving of an Arcanum promotion. Eh, Ioni? Once all the appropriate paperwork has been reviewed and filed, perhaps. Until then, I will give my thanks, along with a heartfelt good work. Just doing our jobs, ma'am. Really, this hero's welcome is far too much, but appreciate it. You're all heroes in our eyes, too. Ooh, did someone bring cake? Dr. Beans, Pork, we are pleased you are not dead. However, I find your lack of spark disturbing. Where is my brother? Spark is on Nimbus helping your mother. But he asked me to give you this communicator we designed together. Here, let me show you how it works. I'll figure it out on my own. Thank you. As for you, wizard, your accomplishments in Imperia will not go unrecognized. Foolish creatures! You have accomplished nothing. Sakes alive! Was that? The Tree of Knowledge? Sybil only speaks if she has information that must be heard. The fact that she singled you out, wizard, is important. Oh my. Being Bartleby's scion is shaping up to be a full-time responsibility. You should see what this Tree of Knowledge has to tell you. Greetings, wizard, or should I say, Scion. I could not help but overhear your joyous celebration. I do hope that you remain sufficiently afraid. We've no time for riddles, Tree. What are we supposed to be afraid of? You poor, excitable, insignificant beings. You have nothing to fear. Well, that was disconcerting. I fear your heroics in thwarting Raven and Spider may have unintentionally ushered in something much, much worse. It will take some time for us to process this information, wizard. Until then, do not stray far. Mm -hmm. 